Hello Pisces and Cross Watchers. This is your November reading for this current year. Yay. So, Pisces and Cross Watchers, this is for the sign of Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. This resonates with you full. If not, you just boop your nose where it goes. No point about where you betcha they got nothing to do with you. Getting any damn business, right? Right. Okay. So, Pisces and Cross Watchers. Oh, I'm starting extended readings now. You can get them if you go through the membership thing or whatever. You're welcome. Also, if you want personal info's in the description box below. Hey, hey, cool. Pisces and Cross Watchers. What we got for you? There might have been some risky business that didn't pan out, possibly with a fire sign. Uh, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Um, this person might have risked some shit, or maybe you feel like this person was unfair because you might have been the one that got caught up in the bullshit. One of the two, right? <coughs> Up above, a tower moment did not come to be, and someone is basically internally screeching. Like, a lot of birds are being like, ha! Internal screeching, basically. So, I, I feel like someone's somewhat upset. They want to verbalize what they're upset about, because they're internally screaming about it. It's going nuts in their head. Um, over yonder, over here, is a higher thing. Commitment seems like he's wishing and praying that possibly somebody... Um, isn't abundant, isn't able to grow, isn't able to do whatever, like, they want, it's almost like someone praying for somebody to fail, right? Down below, we have the Queen of Cups, could be you, Cancer and Pisces, you might be offering up a, 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 a cup of, uh, I don't want to learn, or I don't, I don't need to learn, it's like, it, you're going in the direction with this not panned out risky business with this fire side over here. <clears throat> It seems like you're offering them some shit, but that's because, like, either you're not learning or you're offering them the idea that you're not willing to learn something, you know? Because I take this as, like, a scholar or a mage, and it's like, he's just kind of, like, skimming through shit, being like, I don't need to know how to do everything. Um, I'll just get to the gist of it and make it up as I go, which is like, you, know, you can do that sometimes in witchcraft, but not all the time. You know, like, you can't substitute everything for everything. I know, like, high magic, low magic was more like a classist, elitist kind of thing, but there were purposes to that shit, right? Right, so. Pisces and Cross Watchers, let's begin. So, this risky business with this, I think, Queen of Fire. I'm pretty sure it's Queen of Fire, right? She doesn't seem like the best person. Seems like she likes to fight. But she doesn't seem very hostile either, but it seems like she's not very pleased. Something went down with her. Something she didn't like, right? Um, you might have sat, this is your card, Pisces, could also be Cancer, but someone might have hung back and let bad things happen to them. You know, like, you're supposed to be trying to escape, and I'm listening to these guys talk about the football game right before they slit your throat with that scythe that's sitting in the background, along with the mask that you cannot, you, even the snake's like, hey, Maybe you should save yourself. And you're just like, but the story's interesting, you know? Some weird shit like that. You might let yourself get caught up in some shit, I think. Pisces and Cross Watcher. Uh, and it's almost like, you know, there was nobody to battle there. Like, you were a victor by default. You know, like, there was nobody there to fight. There's not even anybody who's going to be there to cut your throat. It could have been a chance that, like, either you or them set yourself up. And nobody did it but yourself. Like, I mean, like, you could sit there and be like, oh, I didn't have a choice, or there's obstacles, or some shit like that. But it's like, everything's a choice. Even not making a choice is a choice. Me and my girlfriend were actually talking about that the other day. Mm. But you, you will still cut a bitch. Or whatever. Mm. It's all in the dark in the background, too. Like, you're all defensive now and trying to be all logical and shit. Which I, which I figure is weird as a water sign. But, like, whatever. Hmm. Very awkward. Anyway. Ooh. This tower moment that didn't happen is causing someone to internally screech. They gotta come out of their little zone and look at shit from a reality point of view with the hermit. For sure. Maybe dealing with Virgo. Also Libra. Gemini Aquarius. Taurus. 
<laughs> Taurus for sure. There's no commitment. Someone's pouting their feet. Um, shit stemming from childhood, really. Someone's letting their childhood issues dictate how they think sh things should be or how they should be ruled or whatever. Uh, ew. Yeah, that only Earth sign is all tier. We got Virgo and we got Taurus both sitting here. Along with Capricorn. Slightly, but not really. This could be with an Earth sign. For sure. I also feel like this could be somebody who's a liar. Who isn't in for commitments, who has problems being satisfied, too. I feel like maybe they're in the dark about how they feel about you as well. I'm not entirely sure about that, Pisces and Crosswatcher. Let's see here. The Hierophant is up right now. And hoping and praying that someone doesn't get any abundance or whatever the fuck it is they don't want. I don't know, really. Let's see. Uh, okay, first of all, you might realize that all these wishes and prayers that someone's casting is trapping them as well. You know, if you want uh, to sit there and wish that bad things happen to people, it'll also happen to you, too. How about that? That's what the... <laughs> That's a fucking... Wow. <laughs> That's literally what the universe said. Like, oh, you want this bad shit to happen to a person? Okay, well, it's gonna happen to you, too, since you want to run your fucking mouth like that and shit. You know, you want your thoughts and prayers to come true? You're gonna have to ex have that exact same energy in order to put that energy on somebody else. That's some... <laughs> Why is this in Crosswalk Dirty? The universe is definitely saying, uh, watch what you wish for, because you'll definitely get it and then some. It's also saying the only way you can wish bad things on people is if it happens to you too. Whether it's at the same time or not, I don't fucking know, but uh, it might just happen that way if you're not careful. You know, you best be um, cautious about how you talk about others, I feel like. Which you shouldn't be talking shit about others anyway, because then like you get exactly what you deserve, you know, like if you're not loyal enough to keep your mouth shut, uh, how do you expect the, the people to do that for you? You know? Ugh. That's exactly what the fuck I just said. Like, <laughs> someone, someone's all trapped because they keep talking nonsense. Cancers and crosswatchers there, and they're probably doing it about you, which is putting you in a sour mood. Or you're doing that to yourself, and you don't even realize you're doing it. One of the two, but it's happening. But either way, like, you're all in your feels. Either you're making yourself in your feels, or someone's doing that to you, one of the two. Then we got you down there in the Queen of Cups where you weren't learning shit. Possibly, or you haven't studied enough to learn shit. You know? You're not having, you feel like people are watching you and making you paranoid? Well, if you read the book, you wouldn't, you know. Why? What is with this worry? Does this person make you feel like you're not good enough? Pisces and cross watchers. I almost called you Cancer again. I think I called you Cancer before. So it might be a Cancer you're involved with pretty heavy. You got a book? Yeah, it kind of make you feel like a junkie. You just want to break from the nonsense. Because you know, once you start, you might go to the grave because you just can't stop. You're all confused about all the signals you're getting. And you're starting to feel like you're really insecure and are recognizing where the insecurities lie. But is it with you or with your person? Mm, good question. Let's see. You're all paranoid because, like, you love the person. They mean a lot to you. Right? You just want hugs. You don't want them watching you like a fucking stalker. You know? Things are going to be changing, though. Like, you're definitely going to be getting out of some sort of trapped emotions here soon. I think all this person needs to do is give you a hug and you'll feel better. I think that, I think that's the gist of it, Pisces and Crosswatcher. Because I feel like you're the one who's more stuck than this person you're dealing with. 
you know. Okay, over here with the um, Hangman Shadow Side Reverse, Seven of Wands Shadow Side, Queen of Swords. I feel like you're hung up on what other people are saying, but you're just causing your more pain for yourself. And you need to be a little bit more logical, too, most likely, Pisces and Cross Watchers. Um, you love this person. Possibly Gemini. You're hoping that they'll offer something here? Are you fighting yourself in your head more than you are this person? Are you trying to have your logic dictate and that's why your swords are up? Because you're all paranoid and shit? You know, um, refresh thine ass. Take a drink. Calm down. I think as soon as you're given something from, like, this this person might actually be a breath of fresh air for you, actually. And then you'll be able to give your, wait, wasn't that, like, what was the last dream I did for you guys? Now I'm thinking about it. Because you guys were the last city access. I, I should really remember that. Because I, I literally just did your guys' uh, October reading late. But it was still there. Um, what was it? Oh, I know. I think possibly a third party was trying to um, get involved in your shit. That's right. That's what it was. A third party. And I told you guys... Um, I think, because your guys was linked up to, um, the Scorpio season reading, too. <coughs> <coughs> Between yours and the Scorpio season reading, hell, even Scorpio's reading, too. All three of y'all. Um, <coughs> there was some in third party trying to interfere with y'all's shit. And the one thing I remember is that someone wants to come in and interfere with the relationship, probably break you guys up. And which, mind you, if your person breaks you, and I, in, in between all that, I said, if your person breaks up with you because of the third party, um, you're going to get rewarded. They're going to get punishment for it because, you know, they shouldn't be listening to a third party, an ex, just a random stranger, whatever, over their partner. Like, why are you with somebody if you don't trust them enough over some random other person, you know? Even if you don't believe that motherfucker, like, you be on their side. In public, because you know that's how that shit works. But um, yeah. But I I think I also said that like you guys would get back together regardless. It wouldn't matter. Um, maybe you're maybe that person would just be dumb for a minute, but they would come back and realize, hey, maybe we shouldn't have broke up because of this, you know. So this might be a result of that from October. So let's see, the Hermit Reverse, the Hierophant Shadow Side Reverse, and the King of Pentacles Shadow Side Reverse. Well, no. No, that's not Shadow Side, that's Sunny Side. Even though he's in the shadow, that's the Sun Side. He just doesn't show his emotions at all. Mm -hmm. My uh, to take a leak of phrase, first you start all this shit, right? Pisces and Cross Watchers. Just might be hard to let some things go, that's for sure. Might be difficult too at that. Because it feels like there might be abandonment here. Hmm. Yeah, dude with the dark hair, he probably would feel like either, you're either the dude with the dark hair or the dude in the water. But the dude with the dark hair would regret and wouldn't be able to get over the fact that they would leave someone else to drown. You know, just dump somebody, literally, in the water to drown in their emotions while they're still on the beach and watch them suffer. Just being like, oh, their cup's filled. I guess I gotta move on. You know, like some dumb shit like that. 
Like, if you all broke together, it's broke up at some point, or got into it some way because of a third, uh, another party, I think this person would realize the mistake because they would have regrets if they did this to you. All right. Nine of Swords, Knight of Swords, Reverse. Well, the Nine of Swords is Shadow Side, too. My bad. And the Queen of Cups, Reverse, right? Someone's feeling trapped because they keep going out and, like, attacking you, Cancer and Crosswatcher, or you're doing this to another person just because you feel trapped. Ah, they're expecting something. Mind you, they're a fucking gnome. They are expecting to be rewarded somehow, possibly from an earth sign in some way, shape, or form to get something from them. Something of value. We got a book. Let's see. Because they don't have anywhere else to go. Nobody wants to take them. Especially not the person who they want or are in love with. Um, they might even try dumping their cup out on you if this is another water sign. Or you could be doing that with them. Just let them know exactly how you feel and how they should have chose you or they or you should have chose them, you know? Because, like, this person really isn't coming back to make you feel better at all. Um, Pisces and cross washers. I almost called you Scorpio and then I tried saying your name and it came out almost cancer. So it definitely could be another water sign you're dealing with for sure. But this person still expects shit from you. Hmm. Because they know you can manifest stuff, that's for sure. You're a manifesto, Harry. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. Let's see. I really want to zone out right now because I'm so tired. Uh, and they know you can change their luck for them with just a shot of the arrow. Pisces and crosswatchers, this person knows that you're capable of whatever. But you are the last zodiac sign, so. So let's see. We have. The Sun Shadow Side Reverse, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, Shadow Side Upright. Person's paranoid. They want to embrace you, change things, and escape. I feel like this person's kind of lazy, though. Yeah, no, like, no, 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 no. This person isn't helpful for you, Vices and Crosswatchers. They don't help you at all. Not in the slightest. Like, you expect something is from somebody. Um, you sure as fuck aren't falling for the temptation. Or a Capricorn isn't falling for the temptation, right? Um, because their tricks ain't slick and then it makes them look nuts. Queen of Swords again. Like, this person doesn't come out logical at all, Pisces. And, uh cross watchers and i think you're recognizing this you know like you know crazy and you also know that like you probably you and this person probably shouldn't be together either you know um you need to get into a better headspace that's for sure mm. yeah because this is not a good pairing go over your shit somewhere else <laughs> No matter what you get in this situation, it's not going to turn out well, man, at all. You know, like, you're just biding your time for nothing. You're at a crossroads with it. Take your shit somewhere else, because no matter how much of your head space gets out of this, like, this person is still going to expect to be treated like a queen, and they're still going to play head games until you go the fuck away. They just keep driving people away. They drive people away, um, regardless. That's the end of your reading, Pisces and Cross Watchers. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, subscribe. I greatly appreciated it if you did but if you don't want to you know like that's up to you once again there's an extended reading if you want a personal all the links in the description box below i love your all's faces thank you for watching this and you take care i'll talk to you later bye, -bye.